Good morning everyone. This is Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 model, NP950 QDB model. One of the slimmest machine from Samsung, decent. The touch screen is brilliant, but the problem is this machine is less than a year old. Still, it has many problems. Okay especially the GPU fan issues. So what happened is the system get overheated and the fan does make a lot of noise. So that's the model number, NP950QDB. So I got the replacement include the heat sink, CPU fan and GPU fan. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you if you do have any sort of overheating issues or fan noise, how to replace and how to solve that problem. By the way, as you can see, the left and right both fan we have and the heat sink as well okay heat sink doesn't get damaged but i always prefer when you replace the fan to replace the thermal paste as well okay so you don't need that many tools as you can see here only a few tools two is a flat opening tool metal plastic phillips screwdriver that's all so samsung hidden four screws under those pad so make sure you remove those pad and take out four screws once you've taken out four screws the back cover will be ready to take apart if this is first time in your life then try to use plastic opening tool rather than metal okay because metal would leave many um marks and don't try from this side this is absolutely wrong as you can see just for the video purpose i'm showing you. if you try from that side you're going to break it instead put a piece of cloth underneath it's not going to be slippery anymore and then we're going to lift off from here to there okay so from the plumber side to up okay let me show you how so put something like that go around i opened this one three times that's why it's very easy might be your one, would be a little bit difficult. As you can see, all the end cords, everything is fine, nothing been damaged. Okay, so here are the fan, as you can see, and the battery, everything. First thing, before any replacement from laptop, make sure you disconnect the battery as soon as you get access in there. Because if you leave the battery connected, if you touch the motherboard, that could damage any time and that would be very difficult to fix it, okay? So the battery has disconnected. Now, I can see the CPU and GPU fan, both of them does have three sc screws, okay? So we have to remove three screws from each of them. And also we have to disconnect the latch to disconnect the flex cable. That is very sensitive and very tiny, so make sure you don't put too much pressure otherwise you're going to damage the fan connector and if you damage the fan connector it would be very difficult to repair it i don't think so you can get uh, the connector easily from market okay so be careful and as you can see those fan quite clean but the actual bosch is gone i mean the magnet is gone from inside and that's why it's making a lot of noise okay and now the heat sink got four and two, six screws. Keep the screws organized. And lift it out. As you can see, the thermal paste already dried out because of the fan was not functioning for such a long time, about five to six months. Give it a clean with plastic, some sort of things. Or you can use rubbing alcohol 99.99% one or PCB cleaner spray clean it with blue tissues or something like that as we can see this is shiny and if the radiator is dirty make sure you give it a clean too or if you do have new replacement you can do that also we're going to use the CPU core because those are also dried as you can see how I'm cleaning so simple and easy not too much pressure no rush at this time i did not use toothbrush that much because toothbrush sometimes it make things mess 
So TM30, here is the thermal paste from Corsair. It's quite hot. Now you can use the brush to clean all the dust and silicone. Apply a little bit. That's all right. Now the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put back the heat sink. Let's put the four screws and two six screws back. Make sure you don't over tighten it because this machine is quite slim. If you do anything excessive that could effect into the main board or on the screen. So be careful. This sort of replacement guys, you can do it yourself at home. It looks pretty difficult because the machine is quite expensive. So you set up in your mind, okay, the machine is so expensive. What about if I damage something? All right, let's not take risks. Let's take it to the shop. Believe me, if you really try, if you love doing DIY, you could do that. This sort of replacement is so simple and easy. Okay, so put it in place. Take a plastic flat opening tool and then connect properly. Close the latch, three screws, boom, it's done. Now, connect the battery. It's always best to give it a try to check if the fan was spinning or not properly, the new one, you know, before you put the back cover on. So I gave it a try. And the everything is functioning, I can see. And also the fan was spinning. I can feel everything is fine. No more heat or anything. After five or seven minutes, now I'm going to close it. I put the back cover on and pretty much that's all. Clean it out. And try this side first, as you can see exactly like that. And then the bottom go around, it's going to make click noise, which is absolutely fine. Okay, cracking noise. And make sure you close it properly. Now four screws, simply back under the pad. Such a brilliant design. Not too many screws. Not too much drama like HP. Put the pad back on. And that's how simple it is. I hope you did like this video. If you do, please subscribe and leave any comment if you have any concern or any suggestion or anything or any questions. I hope I'll see in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.